Okay, so this is my new planner cover and it's so pretty. I feel like it's not looking, the camera is not doing it justice. Okay, compared to, this is the old one that I used to use. This one is just like a cheap faux leather and this one is genuine. This is the Moterm personal size Versa and I got it as an early birthday gift um, because it's like kind of an investment for a planner cover to spend like money on a planner cover you know it's definitely like I wouldn't have gotten this I would have waited this is something that I would get only for special on a special occasion you know but that's just me because I new to planning again so I've been easing in slowly just making sure that it's actually something that I'm gonna stick with and like I said in my last vlog I'm really loving it and it's been working for me so this is the cover it's by Moterm it um so this is a gift from my husband and he got it for me as like an early birthday gift because the only stuff that I really wanted for my birthday was like planner stationery stuff so it's in the color cream personal size and it has two parts to it so it has like the outside layer and then it has the actual rings part so you could take it apart just carry this or use this i've seen some people use this like as a separate cover and then have this but i kind of like it all at one so i keep it slid in there and then i also have my notebook in here but right now i'm in between notebooks so it has all of these compartments and I just have like my sticker and planner supplies. I have my Sharpie marker for my transparent, translucent really 
sticky notes. And then this is just like my inside. So yesterday I spent time making my, um, adding labels to all of my stuff because I completely refreshed everything for the mid-year. So this is kind of like a mid-year refresh setup. And I also am adopting getting things done or get things done method. I still have a lot of research to do, but just off the bat, I found it really, it sounded like it would be perfect for me. So and I bought inserts from Etsy and printed these out um, the other day. So yeah, that's like a whole planning system that I am not the most knowledgeable on yet, but I just wanted to show you all the new planner cover because I think it is so pretty. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'll keep that brief. But yeah, this is my new planner. Um, I had my pen here, but it ran out of ink. So I actually need to get some more pens. And then it also has a back pocket, but I don't have anything in there. So you can, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's kind of like everything you would ever need. You can also use it as a wallet. So I am loving it so far. I just feel so fancy and exciting. <laughs> so yeah, that is my planner. And then this is my newest journal cover <clears throat> for, so this is a, I showed you guys this one. This is the A6 size and I'm finishing this up. I wanted something bigger, so I'm trying out just the standard traveler's notebook size. So I just put everything in here and now I just need to set it up so everything is blank in here. But this one is so nice. This one is also by Moterm and from Amazon and it's genuine leather as well. And this one is faux. The difference is just astounding. I didn't know that they would be so different, but you can just really feel the difference in quality. And it was well worth the purchase. I got these little pouches from Amazon as well, and they just keep the supplies. So I can transfer this to like my bag or in here very easily. Hey y'all. I'm just now sitting down, getting ready for the day. I wanted to try out some of the makeup that I recently got um, and that I showed in the last video. Um, I actually haven't tried all of it. So I wanted to do like a mini get ready with me. Today I'm babysitting my niece like this afternoon. Um, she is in town. My sister sent her over here for the summer. Um, so she is with my dad um, for like a couple weeks. And I'm just going to go like watch her while he goes to work and stuff. So that's gonna be fun i haven't babysat in such a long time i used to babysit like my little cousins um but it's been a minute and she's three i think she just turned three i'm like what are we gonna do like do i need should we go somewhere i'm gonna you know bring some art supplies like we're gonna be busy probably so what i got to try um i know i was back and forth on makeup in the last video i've since bought some stuff again returned it bought it again returned it and i think i finally settled on or you know found i don't know um, i have to try it so the first thing that i got was the brow wax i've actually i've been using this one for um like two weeks now so this is the brow wax tinted it's the brown one by makeup revolution no not brow wax soap brows soap styler is what it's called and it's fine it's it's cool would i buy it again no i think i prefer my the nyx glue the the brow glue or something and then or just edge control for how i like my brows to look also i re-upped on my brow pencil this is the sephora retractable brow pencil and i get in the color ebony i've tried a couple colors and i just got this one this time i ran out of my last one so we're going to use that as well. I also got new mascaras. I got the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer and the mascara. All of those. And the thing that I haven't tried is the skin product that I got. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Around Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. And this is a, prim a primer, a concealer, a highlighter, and a BB cream. So... I'm on the fence about this because it was so glittery, but we're going to see. I don't really want like a foundation or a lot of cover. And the last thing, I got um, a couple products in PR. So these are the YSL Oil in a Stick and Double Care Balm. And they look like this. They're so pretty. So 
They send a card. I had never really used these products, but it's a candy glaze and a shine from YSL Beauty. And they sent for two lipsticks and two balms. And two of them I definitely would wear. Two of them I didn't, so I gave them to my mom. And she said she's used these before and really liked them. So um, she was happy to have some new ones. This one is the lipstick. And it's very sheer though. So I'll put that on. And then this silver one is the lip balm. And this is like luxury lip balm right here. It's just, I like it. I really like this one. Okay, so the Ro the Rouge Shine Lipstick Balm is oil in a stick balming formula that gives a natural look and shine with carrying ingredients. Okay, so yeah, it's just a balm. And then the lipstick is a high pigment wet finish gloss infused with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. I also got a new red lipstick. Red is about the only color lipstick that I wear. And since I've been wearing my glasses more, I thought I'd start dabbling in lipsticks more. So I ran out of red and this is the Sephora number one. This had a name, this had a name to it, but uh, I swatched the Fenty Beauty, like the liquid lipstick kind of formula, the red shade, and I swatched this one, and they were exactly the same, like the same thinness and the same color. So I got this one because it was like half the price. First thing I'm going to do is take my hair down. Oh, this is sticking to the lip balm. I think yesterday I mentioned that I had cracked the code on the silk press. Well, I just kind of, I think I figured out what I had been doing wrong, like... Because I wasn't doing them as often, I would do them like a couple times a year, like in one, you know, like once or twice. I, um, and then last year was the most that I had ever done them. But every time I would do it, it wouldn't turn out exactly the same. And I didn't know exactly why. I kind of thought it might have just been like the products. I think I would use like maybe a different conditioner or a different shampoo every time. Now doing it this time and watching some of my videos, like I rewatched um, the wedding vlog, my wedding vlog where I was explaining what products I used on my hair. I was saying that I had used, I thought I had messed my hair up because it got sticky. But when I actually got to this, after applying all the products, but then when I got to the step to actually straighten it, it was silking out like I had never seen my hair do before. But since I thought I had used too much because it was so sticky, every time I did it after that, I didn't use as much. And I forgot to use the one product, which was a Color Wow product. The Color Wow, like the waterproof hair kind of product. And so ever since that, the wedding, I never used as much product and I didn't use the Color Wow product. I always would forget. So when I showed you my hair last, that y'all saw in the last vlog, I still didn't use as much product so like i don't want to use too much and i forgot to use the color well and as soon as i straightened it it just it just wasn't silk at all it just was a little fluffy and then every time i stepped outside it would frizz up so this time so that's when i realized all of this that i'm saying now i was watching the video and i was like okay i think using that much product actually was what made it look like that plus i have more hair than i like my hair has grown so i just naturally need to use a little bit more product and then I had and then I remembered I forgot to use the color raw product so I don't know exactly which one made the biggest difference so this time I shampooed and conditioned like normal and then I did the leave-in and I used a lot more and then I put the color raw product on top because you're supposed to do both of those on wet hair and then I used a little bit more of the serum so yeah I just used more product and I used more and I used the color well so I don't know which one it is. It might be a combination of both. But all I know is the time that I got the best silk press, I did all of that. And every single time I've, I haven't done all of that, it didn't turn out the same. So it's one or both of those. Just thought I'd share. Um, I definitely want to do a full, like a dedicated video to my silk press routine once I get it down packed. Um, and then I'm thinking about dabbling in more trying different straight hair products or like flat iron heat styling products the only thing about wearing my glasses now is that i can't see when i put my makeup on 
I'm gonna do a primer, so I'm gonna use the Smashbox. See, is it focused? <laughs> I cannot tell. Also, I did my eyebrows the other, uh, like two days ago. I shaped them up and then tinted them. Why do eyebrows make such a difference? When my eyebrows grow out, they grow out. They're very, they're not fluffy, dense thick, but they're like wide, they grow out wide. So it really makes a difference on my face. Like when my eyebrows grow out, somehow it looks like I don't have any. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird, but when they're shaped, it actually has more definition, I guess. So I don't know what that is, but I have to stay up on doing my eyebrows. I had, it had been a couple of weeks and it just makes all the difference. They're a little bit thinner. I went a little bit thinner this time, um, but I like it. It just has an arrow to twist it. I have no idea how any of these products work, but I've always wanted to try them. I just never did. Oh, there it goes. So also since my last video, I was gonna, uh, I picked this up. And then since then I went to Target and I remembered that I wanted to try that e.l.f., the new e.l.f. product. So I got it. It was the e.l.f. Glow, Glow something, I think. Um, I got that. I tried it and it made me look metallic i didn't like it so i returned it and i wanted, really wanted to try that and then it ended up being weird it looked weird on my skin so i hope this one doesn't do it either because this is also a glow product can y'all tell that i yeah you can <laughs> look at that okay okay so it's not heavy where it looks like it's just completely the wrong color but it does look very bronzed so also i put my um makeup brushes in this little thing that I had gotten a long time ago. I had a, some vases as decoration. And then I saw one, a picture on Pinterest and they use it as something. And I thought that is so smart. So you don't have like random containers. You can just use the cute stuff. So you should try it if you have anything like this, any like decorative vases to actually use them for, for something like on your desk. So it's a cute way to have pins, brushes, on your desk wait a second i think i actually like it it's kind of not this being exactly what i wanted and i i doubted it and i i went ahead and, and i bought a different product didn't like that product returned it couldn't return this because i don't i threw away the receipt and it ended up being exactly what i wanted wait a second this looks really pretty And it's very subtle like I wanted. It's BB cream hi concealer highlighter. And then when I'm looking in my mirror, I don't look metallic. Like that e.l.f. one had a, a cast kind of on it. The same way like sunscreen would do. It's pretty. That's what I get. It's pretty. I like it. Um... I'm gonna try putting some of the tinted moisturizer on top because I think that's kind of like a base product. But I would wear it just like that. Like this and then powder on top, like my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish on top would be perfect too. I think it looks great, especially if you like a glowy look. So, alone I think it, it's got a nice glowy look and then even if you wanted to just use it under a product, like I would still consider using this under my Too Faced foundation. I did go ahead and get the deepest color because I think that, was that all that they had? Or did I just choose the deeper one? Yeah, because I thought I had a tan, um, but I probably could go one shade lighter. I'm not as tan as I thought that I was. Okay, so I told y'all I was working on rebuilding my wardrobe. So some more things came in the mail since the last time I updated y'all and I wanted to share. The first thing is some lounge clothes um, from Savage, Savage X Fenty. And I got a green set that I've already worn a couple times, but I think this is a part of their their unisex line so it's just like an oversized t-shirt or it's a t-shirt 
and sweat shorts but i got them like two sizes up because i the sizing i don't know i can never get it right um so just to be sure i got it extra big so yeah i like my launch clothes a little oversized anyway or clothes like this a little bit oversized so I, it is just green and these actually match the green glasses that i got so i've worn that together <laughs> that combo and it's just like all green but yeah so these are cute i have uh i have their like monthly subscription that i just forgot to skip dang it i meant to do it yesterday for some reason i always forget that's why i want to cancel it so i had some credits and that's why i got this stuff but otherwise i don't having to do this is always annoying and that is exactly why how they make money because you forget the second thing i got from there is this like uh rock it's like a culotte romper kind of thing and again i sized up and so it's a little bit oversized but it's very comfortable to be in in the house i don't want tight clothes anyway so kind of like a jumpsuit but it kind of has uh like a bandana style paisley style um pattern on it and then from target i picked up some more of those shirts that i like and i got one color that i didn't have and in the tank and it's the same kind of shirt as this one this one just sleeves this one is a sleeveless version and i got all the colors that i could because the i actually really love them the perfect length they're cropped but not like crop top and they're thick and then the sleeved ones they have like a good amount of sleeve and it just feels like a more expensive t-shirt than it actually is the other thing that i got from target besides all those tops that i showed last time um are these trousers and these are like flowy wide leg trousers that are so comfortable but then they they feel so comfortable to wear but they look so put together and they come in in khaki too and i want to get those i got these in the long size so i bought them online and um it's perfect it's perfect i i really like these it's exactly what i was looking for to give me the more I have on real clothes but it's not uncomfortable as opposed to jeans like these where you might look put together but they're a little bit more uncomfortable but last place that i was shopping at was american eagle i tried on the jeans in the last vlog and went ahead and purchased them they came really fast i got originally i got two of the pairs that i got um that i tried on in the video but i exchanged one of them for these darker wash and i really like these so these are the baggy high waist oh the super high rise baggy wide leg and i got it in a pretty deep a darker wash and they're cut off at the end and i've been getting into the wide leg i actually like how wide leg looks on my body i like skinny jeans too though i know those aren't as like popular right now but i like a skinny jean it's you wear it with like an oversized shirt sandals and it's just like very simple but the wide leg just gives uh it does give a different different look so i like having the option of both now and the last pair of jeans i got are this lighter wash these are the super high rise baggy wide leg and these have stretch in them so these dark wash had no stretch these have stretch and these are two different sizes these are a 12 and i had these in a 16 and they're still like a little tight so that's just how american jean american eagle jeans are and that's why i wanted to try them on um so these are really cool i'm excited to wear these they are very wide leg i did get both um i did get these in a long i got these in an extra long i'm really excited about the wide leg looks um also i got these wide leg in a regular i felt that they just looked better in a cropped style so i got these in a regular and they're a little bit shorter but it looks good um, I showed you all the planner stuff. I also, those are some new pickups. And then lastly, what was the other thing? I got this fanny pack from Amazon because uh, for my walks when I go outside, even though I just said I was going to start doing indoor walks, but when I go outside, I usually, I'll like hold my stuff, hold my phone and my keys, or last time I brought like my purse. So I just got this fanny pack and I've used it already and it's really cool. I like it. It's, I get the hype on fanny packs. I wear it around my waist. I've tried the, I know people are doing like this thing, but with my 
chest it just doesn't work it does, i don't like that it just feels like it's like sticking out for me even farther so i wear it on my waist and i think it looks cool and the last thing that i want to show y'all is my phone case so in my last vlog i sh um i showed at the end of it i showed that i was my mom's pop up and some of y'all or someone asked where you could purchase the art all of the art that she was selling was original i'll leave the link below but you can she has phone cases i think she has a couple prints now um she's adding stuff day by day so this is one of the phone cases and i just got this in the mail a couple days ago there's ones for like all the phone sizes so that's one way you could purchase and support her art if you were interested in it finally decluttering and emptying out the hair closet um originally it was supposed to be decluttered we're past that now now it just needs to be emptied out um so i'm gonna have one pile for keep one pile for complete trash like there's no way like i don't want it and it can't be like used for someone else and then there's a keep pile of things i want or that could be given away and then I'll keep the things that I want and then make a donation pile so um, I feel like it'd be simpler if I just do a keep not keep and then from the keep decide what I want so if it's unopened it's gonna go into the keep pile even whether I want it or not I guess I'll show you what it looks like this closet is full to the brim all the way there is just so much excess quite crazy so since i never decluttered it i don't i really i don't use all of the products and then i haven't been able to try new stuff because i'm like i have so many the closet is full so this would be good for me so i can start trying new products and use the products that i do have Here's the key box. It's a pretty big box and it's full. So now I'm going to decide what I actually want to keep for myself and then give away. All of these products were either unopened or I know that I would use them. Like this is almost gone, but I know I actually have been looking for this. So I'm going to use this. Um, but a lot of these are just not even open. So all the things that I threw away were opened and old. So, 
it was a lot of stuff but it was open and then a lot of them had expiration like 12 months 18 months and then a lot of them didn't but I knew how old it was and I just threw it away so that made a giant trash bag and I kind of overfilled it so anyway okay so I'm gonna go through all this stuff and put things that I want for myself on this desk and then that I don't it'll stay in the box and then this box will be donation to um probably family and friends I don't know if I can donate hair products to, I don't know I don't know um, but yeah, of course, it's going to be a lot of Aussie. Every time I do I do something with them, I get a box full of things. And um, for the most part, I, I used a lot of it, but I still have so much. And then, not to mention, I have hair products. I had a lot of hair products at my dad's house. And I had some products in Guam, too. It's that time of the month, so I do not like the way that I look right now. And I don't even like seeing myself. But anyway, um, I'm going to wear these glasses. I switched my glasses again. Yeah, I'm going to be pretty ruthless because I decluttered my makeup last year and I just, yeah, I just keep it down to this and it's freeing because all of this could fit in like one big makeup bag. Um, and that's just what I use and that is still too much. Like I don't even use all of this. So for the hair, I know I have my soap press system. I think that's downstairs right now after that i don't really need that many products i only really use gels gels and creams but not like yeah anyway okay let me get started so for instance should i go through all of them and tell you whether i'm gonna keep them keep them or not i guess i could do that it could be because i don't i think the thing that's missing is earrings um, but my two everyday most favorite pair of earrings, I lost one to the each each pair. I lost one of them, so I need some new. I need some new earrings because I don't have any like everyday. All of them are just like costume or like extravagant ones. So I'm stuck with these baby ones for right now. Anywho, okay, so let's the deep glitter again. So this is now either between keeping or donating. So something like, so this is the Aussie Total Miracle Heat Protection Spray. This is something that I use and I am I use heat so heat protection is good and I do like that product. A lot of these are going to be Aussie for a minute. I have a lot of Aussie stuff at the top. Um, the Miracle Coil Sulfate, Sulfate Free Shampoo is a keep. I like the coils. The hair insurance leave-in conditioner. This one, I don't recall me using it that much. Um, I also have the Total Miracle Detangling Spray. That's something that I need. Spray leave-in, not sure about that one. This leave-in detangling milk, yes. I'm gonna keep these, I need. The coils, the conditioner, that's the shampoo to go with that. Um, the Miracle Coils leave-in detangling milk that's the same thing keeping that one and then i have another this one's unopened of the heat protection and then it's something like this dry shampoo i'm not this is a no all the volume stuff I have no issues with volume so no um this is the kiki curly what is this come clean i need more of this this is like a clarifying shampoo and that's good when I go a long time without doing my hair so I really need a clarifying. Um, I have, I'm on the last leg of this soak element heat protection. That's part of my like soap press routine, blow dry routine. I have the Eden Body Works conditioner. I remember that I liking this one so that off. Another Aussie Instant Freeze Mousse. I don't use the mousses. I tried this like once as putting it on top of like a protective style but I don't even do that often. Um, I have the Cantu Hemp Seed Oil. I used up. They sent me three of these and I've used two of them already. This whole line that has um, like body cream, a lotion, and then this. I loved this collection and recently repurchased the, one of the lotions from Target. Um, and then I have the Miracle Coil Shaping Jelly. This is not a type of product that I use, so I'm not gonna keep it. I don't use um, like stuff for washing those, so. And then the Headstrong, this is a gel, volumizing gel. Again, I don't need the volumizing stuff. I prefer the um, Instant Freeze Gel, so I'm not gonna keep this one. And then I have this, I don't even, I couldn't, I never figured out what this product was. 
soft halo air dry spray i guess for like when you air dry your hair i don't do that and then another volumizing mousse not taking these um i don't even know if they make these anymore but this is like glitter spray these are older but i never open them i got a tub of eco styler keeping that i also have some other gels these were like a trio set sent to me from african pride and it's just a this is a max holding gel this is a curl defining gel and this is a max hold styling gel so this is like brown and i wanted to try these i never got around to it but i do like gels so for like slick backs more of the like sleek hair cells so i'm keeping that and i have my bio silk keeping that that's my that's what you put on right before you flatten on your hair so i have a big thing with that that's good um i have this curl smith bond curl i'm gonna keep that that was a little bit expensive i know i think one of the i bought one myself and i used that one this one i think got sent to me um, I have a Eden Body Works blow dry spray. I really like Eden Body Works products. And from what I know, I know they're at Sally and Target, but not all of their products. And um, so I need to repurchase because, ooh, it used to be my favorite product. It's this color. I think it was the Hydration Pearl Hydration Cream, Hydration Twisting Cream or something like that. That was one of the best cream products I had ever used. Uh, and once, when I ran out of that time, I didn't buy it again because i couldn't find it anywhere so this is a veda nutriplenish treatment this is a treatment it's a daily moisturizing treatment i didn't know how to use this if it was like okay it's a leave-in basically okay i never opened that one I have aussie sleek warrior dry conditioner i'm gonna give that to someone that can use it i don't use those products I have Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. I don't think this one is open. That's the only reason I'm keeping this. But I worked with Not Your Mother's in like 2020, 2019. So I know a lot of them are old. Um, but I don't think this one is open. So I'm, I'm going to keep it. Like I said, I like creams. Like twisting creams. And then gel. Like a heavy gel. And then shampoo conditioner. I have the Aussie Miracle Detox. I don't know if they do this one anymore. But I really like this one. Shampoo and conditioner from Aussie is just always a yes. Shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner. And from any of the lines, really, I like all of the shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioners. I have another of the glitter spray from Aussie. That's going to someone else. I have another heat protection spray. If you're wondering like how I would use this, I would probably only use these for uh, when I'm blow drying my hair or like sitting on the dryer kind of thing, that kind of heat protection, I wouldn't necessarily always, this be my go-to for a silk press, just because of how much heat that is. And I don't, these aren't awesome. This isn't like a specifically for silk press collection. It's more like, I think blow drying. So I wouldn't press it that much, but I have used that for a silk press and it went perfectly fine. No heat damage or anything like that. But I have some more products that I prefer to use for silk pressing, so. Um, I have this product, Proclaim Blends pomegranate and matcha what is this a conditioner i never opened this i don't even know how i got this but i never used it and this is just like a random conditioner so i would use this for like a random detangler or something like that you know nothing serious and then i have another sculpt this is a curl top sculpting gel i don't think i use this one so that's why i'm going to keep that okay we have some emerge products now i had a lot of emerge products and when i worked with them um, like the different pieces of content the product had to be had to like look good and new so I usually had to use a new product every time I did a video so I had a lot of opened ones so I threw those away and only kept my unopened unused ones not have anything about expiration on them so I have a shampoo and a conditioner that am I gonna keep these I think I might keep one Okay, I might have to go over my keep pile one more time because I have a lot of duplicates and I don't think I need to keep all of them. So I'll keep that in mind. And then what else? I have a completely unopened hair mask and then one of the buttercreams from Emerge. So I would keep one of those for myself. And then I have another, this is an unopened buttercream. So I'm going to donate this one. And then I have another conditioner. I'm going to donate that one. I thought I had one more shampoo. Okay, I'll donate the shampoo and conditioner too, so it can be a set. 
Okay, next is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. This is a conditioner, a jelly to cream conditioner. I only used this a couple of times and I'm interested to try it again. So I think I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna reassess on these gels. I'm going to keep the brown one. This is a Max Hold Styling Gel. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the two Max Hold Styling Gels and then donate the Curl Defining one. Oh, what else? I had a lot of these heat protectants, so I'm going to take one of the unopened ones, put that in the donation pile, and one of these leave-in detangling milks, and put that in the donation pile. Okay, everything else. That was some duplicates. Uh, what else do I have? I have a Mayel Curl Sculpting Custard. I think I use, is this unopened? No, I use this. I don't think I got the hang of using this. And this is a wash and go product. So I have used this, but I'm gonna see if like one of my little cousins or something would like this. Otherwise I'll throw it away. But I didn't get the hang of using that one in my hair. I have the Afoji Keratin Green Tea Reconstructor. This is for like heat styling, so I like that. I use this a lot when I have my hair color treated. It's for a strength, strengthens instantly, builds body, protects color and chemical services. So that was when I was colored. I use that a lot. Then I have the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight um, Cream to Moisture Cream Serum Moisturizer. So this is a styling product. Like I said, I didn't get to use this collection a lot, so I'm gonna revisit that. What else? I have another Aveda. This is the leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna keep that in. I did use the shampoo and conditioner from this line. I pretty much used all of that. So I did like it. Okay, and then I have some leave-in conditioners from Emerge, a completely unopened one, and then one. Okay, so I'll keep that one for myself. Donate one. That's like a whole set down there. Okay. I have some, hold on. Let me change the battery real quick. I accidentally switched to a different record setting. So I recorded the rest of these clips in slow motion and didn't have any audio so voice over time okay so the aussie miracle coils i kept one this is a pattern hair treatment i kept that one and then some not your mother's hair masks i kept those the mayel um that's another like wash and go style wet hair i donated that another like hairspray color hairspray donated that this is the ag naturals balance shampoo kept that so, a really good shampoo got to be hairspray kept that and some beeswax kept that and wetline extreme gel kept that the melanin hair care twist and defining cream what's that called but i kept that i didn't i haven't used that a lot and then i have tgin leave-in the rose water leave-in and shampoo i really like the leave-in and so i kept both of those another eco styler gel keeping that um a scalp serum i believe from eden body work and the mayel um deep conditioner i kept both of those carol's daughter foam it's cream to foam or foam to cream styler i kept that and then another aveda it was like a jelly styler yeah i donated that one that one is uh, too light of a hold for me another jelly product from lotta body i donated that and then an unopened mini pattern conditioner i donate that another volume product from aussie donate that i think i end up donating those because i have a lot of them already so donate the new unopened ones keep one for myself more deep conditioners more aussie deep conditioners i think i just keep one donate one uh the miracle coils frizz taming cream I keep that and then I donate the Miracle Coils Jelly and then an Instant Freeze Gel. I think that one was unopened, so I donate those because I have those a lot of those, a lot of gel already. I keep the Instant Freeze Hairspray and the Lotta Body Blowout Cream and then I donate that spray. And then those are some hair colors that I still use and the Miracle Coils Cream Styler. I keep one for myself, donate one, another Instant Freeze Gel. And then some of the like oils, I keep some of those and donate the curl defining oil. Then not your mother's curl talk foam, I keep that. And I was saying that when I used, the last time I used this, I had like the best perm rod set. It was a couple years ago. Um, and so I wanted to <laughs> keep that one. Uh, hair wax, I keep that. There's a full set that I, uh, Kentu sent me like at Christmas time. I mean, that'd be good to give away. And these are all the products that I decided to keep. Those are all the ones that are getting donated. 
I'm gonna put all of this stuff, all of the donate stuff in a big box and hopefully take it to the next family function, give some away, bag some up. And that's all the stuff that I'm keeping. Okay, at the last minute, I'm deciding that if it was new or unopened, I'm just gonna donate it because I already have so much. So a couple more Aussie, the Emerge, one of these conditioners, um, more open, so gonna donate them. The last part of the closet is the hair tools and stuff like that, brushes, clips, hair extensions, hot tools and stuff like that. An update, this is my keeping bag, donating bag, and trash, trash. This is a pile of completely unopened braiding hair. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. First one is a no, so I probably should go with that. They're all unopened, unused. A lot of these are colored hair, so I wouldn't even use them right now, honestly. closet now that means it's getting empty going through back to some products i had some colors that i thought that i would um keep but they've been open and i don't have light hair to use them so i think i'm just gonna throw the actual colors away that i used and then i have some things like developer and lightener and that could be i don't know that could be used again should i keep them or not Oh, this is the hard part. The actual decluttering part. Should it be kept? Should it be thrown away? Do these have expiration dates on them? They don't. looking for this thing <laughs> got some hair accessories I do like these kind of headbands um, so we're gonna keep those some scrunchies another headband scrunchies this I don't know about this down to the last few things that are at the top I see this Eva NYC straightening brush did I ever use this thing oh yeah it looks like I did okay I'm not gonna keep this so I have a very old thing of aloe vera pretty sure this is expired best buy September 2021. Okay. And then I've got lots of these plastic rollers. I'm pretty sure this is my mom, so I'm gonna ask her if she wants these. I doubt it, but okay, so she said she didn't want them. Um those are like roller setting rollers. Don't really know how to roller set that good, so I'm gonna bag them up to give to somebody else. So, from all the closet, I got this bag of stuff that I'm keeping. It's not cute yet. It's not packed up yet. This was just purely declutter, decluttering. So, keeping this IKEA bag of products and 
this smaller box, Home Depot box of tools and stuff like that. Which is great. Like this is all the hair stuff. I still have some stuff that I've been using on a daily basis over there, but that's not. I've got three trash bags of trash, pure trash that came out of that closet. And then this big Home Depot box of giveaway stuff. Donating, finding a new home. And this is the empty closet. I've been in a slump it's just been uh, you know it's been one of those like periods of time where it's just like oh. <laughs> like it's been a lot going on slash I just haven't been feeling that great honestly in terms of creatively you know I'm gonna finish my coffee first before I get started but um, let's just just start with the basics because <laughs> my hair so the last time I did my hair I think this is might be week five on my hair um, this was originally a silk press that lasted three weeks and then if you watched my birth DIY photo shoot for my birthday where I restyled my the old silk press into a perm rod set and so now this is an old perm rod set <laughs> from an old silk press so I think it's been like five weeks um, I have not felt like doing my hair I just uh, I know it's getting bad when I just like completely haven't don't feel like doing anything. But I've been going through that period of I've been ha having, or I guess a lot of bad habits have returned. One being overthinking. Um, two, yeah, mainly overthinking, over planning, thinking too hard about it, making things too complicated, and to get out of that, I'm just like I just have to sit down and just do it like just it doesn't have to be so fancy or you know like planned out I listened to a book and I'm re-listening to it right now it's called art and fear my mom is in a book club and they read it and we were listening I was listening she was listening to it and so we were in the car listening to it together and um there was a part that stood out to me so when we got home I had to go look in like the physical book and read it and I posted it I posted it on my story and I was like this hit me like a ton of bricks and I know that was like maybe a month ago now uh, or over a month ago and it still resonates with me and that's how I know it's like serious or like it really really resonated with me because I still remember it and it was basically about they were telling a story of a professor who like a uh, ceramics professor I believe split the class in the middle one half was to make as many pieces as they could and the other was supposed to make the best piece or something like that only good pieces or something like that and at the end the this half that made the most made the best work and the other half that could only make the best work ended up making nothing because they sat theorizing about how to make the best work um and when I first heard that I was like oh my gosh that is me theorizing about how to be the best instead of just working or doing and eventually becoming the best because it's inevitable like practice makes perfect if you continue to work on it you'll get better but if you never actually do it and all you do is think about it you're not improving your skill unless the skill is to think I don't think I lost confidence in like myself in the real world but when it comes to like bringing something to the table in terms of making content I'm like I am just not <laughs> good enough to do this and those are just lies I mean like 
even if I wasn't good enough doesn't mean that I can't do it and that goes for anyone like even if you're not good enough the whole point to be better or to get better is to just do it and so I don't know I think I just have a lot of fake false things in my head and I'm not gonna listen to them there's no there's not even a point in speaking about them because I'm not going to listen to them